Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the four reasons why my husband doesn't wanna have kids and my responses to each of his hesitations. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering or maybe you can relate to this isn't this something you guys discussed before you got married? It absolutely was. And we started dating when we were 21 years old and I swore up and down that I did not want to have kids. And my opinion did change as soon as I hit 30. Even if you were to ask me a couple years ago, back when I was 28, I would have told you, you know, we're probably not gonna have kids. Maybe we'll adopt somewhere down the road. I don't know what happened when I turned 30. Maybe it was my friends having babies or um, our older siblings having kids, but things just changed. And once I had my mindset on wanting kids, it wasn't gonna change back. So, if you or your spouse are disagreeing on whether or not to have kids or maybe you thought your spouse's decision would change down the road, this video is definitely for you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Reason number one, most definitely, and I'm sure my husband can agree, is the financial security aspect. So ever since we even started dating, my husband has had finances as one of his top priorities. And when we ever were talking about the possibility of having kids in the future, he'd always said, you know, if we do have kids, I want it to be something where we're very focused on the kid and we don't even have to worry about finances. In his mind, this means that we have unlimited amount of money, so if anything were to happen, you know, the kid has a major disability or I have to be home full time to take care of him, the finances aspect would not be um, something that we would have to worry about, which means we would be need to be very financially secure. One of his other financial goals was to have our kids' college fund fully funded before the child was even born. So for us to achieve those goals at the age of 30, I think is pretty advantageous. So as we got older, you know, we did build our finances and we have purchased multiple homes and we do have our own business. However, we aren't to the point where money's just limitless or we have savings enough savings to fully fund um, a child's college. And I was totally on board with these goals before having kids. So I was on board with building up our finances, having a college fund fully funded. But after I started doing more research, I realized that, you know, I am getting older and maternal age in pregnancy it makes a huge difference as far as fertility and future birth defects and possibilities of negative things happening. So when I talked to him about the financial aspect after I'd done more research, I said, hey, look, you know, if we wait until all these things are fully funded, we may not even be able to have kids or we may need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on IVF or fertility treatment and we are at a higher risk of having a kid with a disability. And we don't wanna regret missing out on this age where we are really healthy and I'm potentially a lot more fertile than I will be down the road. The second most important thing would be our relationship. So I'm a really caring person. I'm a super loving person. My husband loves me so much and he loves me so much that I think he's just really worried that things are gonna change. And obviously they are, um, you know, from a sexual aspect, from an emotional aspect, and um, I've always been a super confident person as well. And I think that, you know, there's always that concern about the woman being self-conscious or having postpartum depression and constantly being like, do I look okay? And, you know, after you have a kid, your body totally changes. I've always been super fit and in shape. And um, my rebuttal to him on that is, you know, yes, things are gonna change, but this is one of the biggest challenges and biggest journeys that we have in front of us. So why not take this on? Like, we're not scared people. We want to do hard things. So yes, this will be 
hard for us both and it will be a challenge for me to remain confident and still be you know fit and in shape and still focus on that while having a kid so yes it will be hard but it's a challenge that I'm willing to take on and I think that we can be successful at. The third thing is self-sacrifice. So my husband knows that when a kid does come along, he's going to need to reallocate his time and I know he's going to want to be a really involved father and make sure that our kid is as polite, has great morals and values, and is committed to self-improvement and you know follows along with the things that we want to teach our child. So with that comes sacrificing time on hobbies and activities that we both enjoy or that you know we individually enjoy. We also spend over 60 hours each at work. So you know, we both realize that our time is going to be need to be reallocated when a child does come along. And I think coming to that realization and thinking about what our new schedule would really look like is a huge hesitation for both of us. Um, my response is kind of similar to the financial response. Yes, it will be hard, but are we just going to you know do all these things that we love all the time we're eventually going to get burnt out of them and then by the time we're maybe ready to have kids then it might be too late so again my response is kind of a timing thing like we don't have unlimited amount of time so i've heard people say in the past you know there's never a perfect time to have kids and i do truly believe that this is the perfect time Number four is fairly similar to number three. My husband is very goal driven. He has a lot of things that he wants to accomplish. Once he accomplishes one thing, he's on to the next thing. And I think in both of our minds, you know, I wanted to accomplish a certain amount of things in my life before I started to have kids. You know, I graduated from college. I've started multiple businesses. I have bought and sold multiple houses. I feel that I have accomplished enough, not like I'm not going to accomplish anything in the future, but I feel satisfied with what I've accomplished at this point in time in my life to take a pause and maybe take a step back um, or in a different direction and have kids. And I think that, you know, as I talk to my husband about this and we both talk about, you know, what a strain a child might bring to our businesses and maybe the loss of income and loss of revenue we both agree that that will happen but what's the alternative option there's different routes to make money there's different ways to reallocate our time maybe having a kid will push us to be more efficient or spend our time on things that are maximizing our income so <clears throat> I hope that you can relate to at least one of those things on our video. Um, I'll bring my husband into a future video to just get his insight and feedback on each of these things and maybe see some of the things that he has to add. And we'll also talk about what we ultimately decided to do and how some of our conversations went. If you're having um, a conflict with your spouse on this topic or there's other aspects that are unique to your relationship, please leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on the next video.